Hi, I am Era. I am a Greek goddess. I am the goddess of marriage. Pretty much full of this, except for my husband, Zeus. Yeah, he's not that great. But anyway, just so you don't think any less of me after I tell you this, I did this for a specific reason that I will tell you. So my husband, Zeus, had a child named Hercules. Hercules. Now, don't take this by this stupid Disney movie from the 90s that said I loved him so, because that's not true. I did not. He was, he was not my son, so guess what? I decided to make his life a mix with his family, and everything he did or tried to do was failed, almost. But somehow Zeus still made him a part of the family. Now that is the part that makes me sad. So, I'm not gonna share it. Also, not only was he part of the family, but he got to become a god. Like what? From a demigod to a god? That's not fair. I was not eating as baby for that. So yeah. Hello, I am Artemis. I was born one day before my twin brother Apollo. My mother Leto gave birth to me on the island of Vertigia, then almost immediately after I was born, delivered my brother Apollo. I am the goddess of the hunt, wild animals, and childbirth. My symbols are the bow and arrow, a hunting dog, and the moon. My allies are my twin brother Apollo and my dad Zeus. My rival is Aphrodite. She wants to marry a mortal named Hippolytus, and so do I. Since she is the god of love and beauty, she thinks that Hippolytus will want her m more. I live on Mount Olympus, but I spend most of my time in the forest or in the woods hunting and being with nature. Get comfortable because I'm about to tell you a little story. One day I was bathing in the sacred pool when a young man named Achion happened to walk past. He had heard tales of me before. He stood staring, unable to move, hardly able to breathe. When I turned, I saw him standing there, staring at me. Furious, I hurled a handful of water at him, and as the droplets touched his skin, he was transformed into a giant deer. Then I whistled for my hounds, and they raced towards me. Unaware, this stag had once been young Acteon. They tore him apart, and that is why you should mind your own business. Anyways, I have to go. Apollo and I are about to go hunting in the woods. Hello, I'm Athena, the goddess of wisdom, battle, strategy, and useful arts. My symbols are the olive tree and the owl because they are symbols of wisdom. My father is Zeus, the lord of the gods, and my mother is Metis, the titaness of good counsel, advice, planning, cunning, craftiness, and wisdom. But I wasn't born like most children are born. My, fa my father swallowed my mother. He did this because a prophecy said that Metis would give birth to extremely powerful children. But we were still growing inside of him. So when I was ready to come out of my father, I came out of his head. I wasn't the only child of Zeus and Metis. I have a lot of siblings, and I meet a lot. I have 26 siblings. You might not believe that anyone in their right minds would have 27 children. But out of all of them, I can tell I'm my father's favorite child, because I'm the wisest. I don't have enough time to tell you who all my siblings are, but you may know some of them. Like uh, Artemis, Aphrodite, Ares, Apollo, Dionysus, Hermes, and Perseus. Very crowded in our house with 29 people. My house is located on Mount Olympus. I live with my father and my siblings. There are more houses on Mount Olympus, though. They are owned by the other Olympian gods and goddesses. I do not have a spouse, and I never will. I always tell my father that I will never get married. Because I don't have a spouse, I do not have children. My friends are Nike, Odysseus, the Greek humans, Heracles, and Asclepius. My enemies are Arachne, Poseidon, Ares, the Trojans, and Hephaestus. This is popcorn because I have an interesting story to tell you. Medusa loved Poseidon, the god of the sea, who was also one of my enemies. One day, they walked through my temple, and Poseidon seduced Medusa. Seducing a woman in my temple is very disrespectful to me, so I cursed Medusa with her revolting appearance. Later, my brother Perseus decapitated Medusa, but he couldn't look into Medusa's eyes or else he would turn into stone. To prevent being turned into stone, he looked at Medusa through a glass ball never die. So if you look directly into Medusa's eyes, even though she doesn't have a body, you will turn into a stone statue. Well, that's my story. Bye for now. I'm the god Zeus. I am the god of the sky and thunder. My mom is Rhea. My dad is the titan Cronus. I have 11 children named Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Persephone, Dionysus, Perseus, and Hercules, Helen, Minos, and Musis. I live in the sky on Mount Olympus where most of the gods live. Also, some people hate me like Ares, Atlas, Kronos, Gaio, and Kratos. I also have allies like Histia, Hera, Hades, Poseidon, and Demeter. I also have a story about me. When I was young, my brothers and sisters were eaten by my dad, Kronos. My mom, Rhea, sent me to Crete and gave my father a rock and baby clothes. I actually grew up and gave my dad a potion to throw up my brothers and sisters, and I defeated him and took his power. Hello, my name is Rhea.
my name is Aphrodite, and as you can clearly tell from my appearance, I am the Olympian goddess of love and beauty. I am currently living on Mount Olympus. My symbol is a dove, and I have a magic belt to make people fall in love with me. Well, you see, my parents are Zeus, the god of the sky and thunder, and Dion, the goddess of the ocean, which explains why I was born from the foam and the sea. I also have many half-siblings because my father is Zeus. Some of them are Athena, Hera, Helen, Apollo, and Artemis. When I arrived on Mount Olympus, many of the gods immediately fell in love with me. So Zeus forced me to marry Hephaestus, the blacksmith god, who was the ugliest god of them all. And to top things off, I was already in love with Ares. As time went on, I had some children. A few of them are Anteros, Eros, Demias, Phobos, and Harmonia. I also made multiple allies and enemies along the way. Some of my allies are the Helen of Troy, the Graces, Paris and Melanian, and some of my enemies are Athena, Hestia, Artemis, Hephaestus, Helios, and Hera. Now, get comfortable because I have a story for you. But first, I just want to tell you that after this, you might hate me. But just remember, I am a goddess, so don't do anything to upset me. So here it is, the story of the golden apple. The three Olympian goddesses, Hera, Athena, and I, were always arguing about who was the most beautiful. So we asked Paris for help. Each one of us offered him something which we would give him if he named us the most beautiful. Since I told Paris I would marry him if he named me the most beautiful, I had an advantage and was chosen the winner. As a reward, I received a golden apple as a symbol of my beauty. However, when Paris ended up marrying Helen, it ended up causing the Trojan War. So there it is, all of the things about me. Oh, I have to go. Goodbye! Hi, my name is Hercules and I live in Mount Olympus. I am a demigod. This means I'm half human and half god. My dad is Zeus and my mom is all human. My mom was a beautiful princess and my dad is the king of gods. When I was younger, my mom raised me as a normal boy. I went to school with mortal children and learned math, reading, and writing. Um, when I was little, I had an accident because Hera sent two snakes to come and kill me, but, but with my big baby hands, I strangled them both. I am a Greek hero, and my symbol is, as you can see, a club. Just so you guys are not bored, I'm going to tell you guys a story about my past. When, when I was a teen, I had to save these children from a rock fall. But, but what I didn't know was they were working with Hades. When the, when the rock was moved to save them, a big hydra came out, and I cut its head off without knowing that it would grow back 60 more. I was in big trouble. Then all of a sudden, grabbed me and squished me. With my final strength, I had enough power to break free, and, and I made an avalanche with the mountain behind me, and I crushed the hydra. Since I am mortal, I can't be here. Do you guys want me to tell you another story about my past? Well, too bad. I'm going to say it anyway because I am a god. So when I was little, so, I mean, when I was a teen, long ago in my town, I did something bad. My punishment was to clean the organ stables in one day. You might not think that is that bad, but let me tell you, it was disgusting. It was covered in slop and mud and disgusting stuff that I couldn't even make out. But with my super strength and speed, I did it in a couple of minutes. And that was the worst day of my life by far. And just so you guys are not bored, again, I'm going to tell you guys a story. I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you because I am a guy. Hello, my name is Athena. Let me tell you a little story about me. I'm the daughter of Zeus. I have many step siblings, such as Hephaestus, Deity, Persephone, Ares, Artemis, Apollo, etc. I am the goddess of wisdom and war, and well, many other things I can't keep track of. The wise animal is my animal representative. If you know who I am, you should know I hate Poseidon. He went with his girlfriend Medusa to my temple to do some smoochy smoochy. So I did the normal thing, and I turned her into a monster. I'm pretty cool with most of the other gods and goddesses, so long as they don't bother me, I don't bother them. I live with all the other gods and goddesses on top of Mount Olympus. Anyway, before I begin my story, I will give you some background information. My mother's name is Midas. She's one of the Titans. My father is Zeus, king of the gods. Millions of years ago, my father was told that his son would take his place. So when his wife, the Titan Midas, got pregnant, he ate her. So me being immortal, I was born in the stomach. My mother raised me in a stomach. Sadly, my mom became pure thought and I was left alone. I made my way up to my father's brain and started banging on his head, screaming, let me out. Eventually, my stepbrother Hephaestus cut open my dad's skull and, that, and I came out. Wonderful me. So now, let me begin my story of how I created the wonderful olive tree. Long, long, long ago, in the newly built city of Athens, me and my uncle Poseidon were having a contest. 
This contest would determine who the city would be named after. My uncle, using his trident, created a spring of salt water. I know, right? Can't even drink it. But with my spear, I, Athena, brought them a beautiful, strong olive tree that symbolized fruitfulness and peace, while my uncle's represented his power. So, of course, they did the wise thing and chose mine. So Athens was named after me. I hope you enjoyed my story. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm the Greek goddess of agriculture, the harvest, and grain, but you probably know me as Demeter. If you don't already know the basic things about me, my mother is Rhea and my father is Cronus. You know, the crazy one that ate my siblings and I when we were babies? Yeah, that's him. Speaking of my siblings, I have three brothers named Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. I also have two sisters named Hestia and Hera. I never got married, but I had affairs with Poseidon, Eason, Carminor, and Zeus. The two beautiful children that I had with Poseidon are Despoina and Arion, the winged horse. Plutus and Philomelus are the two wonderful children that I had with Eason. Euphelius and Chrysothemis are the two amazing children that I had with Carminor. And last but definitely not least, there's Persephone, my beloved daughter who I had with Zeus. Moving on, my symbols are the wheat, cornucopia, and torchlight. Wheat and cornucopia because, you know, goddess of agriculture here. The torch because, well, you'll find out later. The animals that symbolize me are the pig and serpent. So if you don't already know, there's this really popular story involving me, my daughter Persephone, and the Hades about how the seasons came to be. It all started a while back when one day my daughter Persephone was picking flowers in the field when Hades was charmed by her beauty. He instantly knew that he wanted her to marry him as well as rule with him as queen of the underworld. So he abducted her and brought her to the underworld. I searched in the field with the torchlight day and night for my daughter, but I never found her. See, I told you you'd find it out about the torchlight later. I became miserable, and since I'm the goddess of agriculture, plant life died. Zeus, seeing what had happened to the plants, decided he had to do something or everyone would starve. He sent his messenger to receive Persephone from the underworld, but when he got there, it was too late. Persephone had already eaten six pomegranate seeds. You see, if you eat anything in the underworld, you are stuck there and can never leave. But the messenger made a negotiation with Hades that because Persephone had already eaten six pomegranate seeds, she would rule with Hades in the underworld for six out of the 12 months every year. Every time those six months were up, she would be returned to me for the remaining six months. Each time my daughter was returned to me, the plants thrived. But every, each time she left me, the plants died again. This should pretty much explain why there is plant life in the spring and summer, but not in fall and winter. I mean, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? My emotions control plants. Just to move away from that side story, let's just talk about where I live. So I used to live on Mount Olympus, but ever since that time period where I searched in the field for my daughter, I have lived in a city called Eleusis with immortals disguised as immortal. Okay, let's move on to the people I like and the ones I don't. My allies are all of my children because, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm their mother. My other ally is Zeus because he helped me get my daughter back, for the most part. Next up are the people I absolutely despise. Those people are Poseidon and Hades. Poseidon because one time he was trying to have a relationship with me, but I didn't want to, so he kept chasing after me like the desperate little guy he is. That's when I took the form of a horse so he couldn't recognize me or continue chasing after me. But little had I known that he also turned into a horse so he could continue chasing after me. Still in the form of a horse, I fell in love with another horse. But I soon found out that that horse was really Poseidon, which had made me so very angry. <sighs> it's time to move on, I guess. Hades is my other enemy because, you know, he's just the psycho that kidnapped my daughter. I mean, what kind of person does that? I will never forgive him. <sighs> All right, looks like we've run out of time. Also, Persephone's calling again. Bye. Hi everyone, my name's Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Some mortals think my life is sunshine and rainbows, which is half true but half false. Down in the fires of the underworld, which is what it feels like, but it isn't. My so-called amazing father, Zeus, ruined my life. Anyways, if you're wondering why I'm on a beach and not Mount Olympus, it's because for some random reason, Hephaestus took all of them and the rest of them don't work up there. So I'm stuck with these ones. At least I'm on my beach. I just consider it mine because they're Aphrodite's rocks. Anyway, let's get started with the storytelling. It all started here, on the island of Cyprus. I was born from sea foam and floated to shore on a shell, as an adult. Yay, no childhood. Oh look, it's right here. This one, exactly. <sighs> I was moved up to Olympus, where I currently live with my mother Dion and my father Zeus. My siblings are Hermes, Athena, Ares, Hephaestus, and Dionysus. I did find it pretty funny when everyone was scared I was going to take over because of my love and beauty. But that's when I was forced by Zeus to marry Hephaestus. Things got bumpy from there. He was so happy with the marriage, but I wasn't, so I started going out with other gods. 
but we don't need to talk about that. Also, the love spell I cast it started the Trojan War. When the goddess Eris wasn't invited to a wedding, she threw a beautiful gold knot apple onto the table like this one. She said it should go to the fairs, which is obviously me, but Athena and Hera thought otherwise. Zeus can decide, so we had a mortal named Prince Paris decide. I promised in love for the most beautiful woman, and so I won. Pretty soon, Paris meant Helen of Sparta, and I saw sparks. Paris snuck Helen out of Sparta, and he brought him back to Troy to become Helen of Troy. Pretty soon, war raged out when Helen's real husband, King Manelaus, found out she had gone to Troy. I quickly convinced Ares to go on the Trojan side because I was in favor of Prince Paris winning. Sadly, the Trojans lost, but I still had all my friends besides Athena, Hera, Apollo, and my husband Hephaestus. Yes, even though he's my husband, I still don't like him. But something I do like is roses. Roses and doves and swans. They're my symbols. Well, it look, looks like there's a meeting in Mount Olympus that Hephaestus range. I wonder what that could be about. Well, I have to go. Bye! I got us lunch. Hello, my name is Artemis. If you didn't know, I'm the goddess of hunt and the moon. You most likely heard of my father, Zeus, one of the big three. Anyway, my mother is Leto. I'm sure you all know about my twin brother, Apollo. I live on Mount Olympus like most of the gods. Most of you heard I made a pledge to stay unmarried. And yes, I have never broken that pledge. And trust me, I have been alive a very long time. But today, I'm going to tell you the story of one of my bestest friends, Orion. He doesn't make that he's my rival, like Hera, Athena, and <sighs> Aphrodite. Yes, I did consider him my rival. That's because we both hunted together, and we were very serious with competition. Now back to the story. It was an ordinary day when Orion, the son of Poseidon, came to the woods while I was hunting. Soon enough, he found my nymphs. They were my allies, just like Zeus, Leto, and Chiron. And of course, the one and only Apollo. He started chasing my nymphs, and that's where I came in. I transformed the nymphs into doves so they could fly away. I know, pretty cool. Then he stood in front of me and looked strong and brave. Well, just like me, of course. <laughs> then before I knew it, we were hunting together and having challenges like archery. Soon my brother Apollo, who was heroic and like Orion and grew jealous over friendship. <sighs> Classic Apollo. So he made an evil plot. Well, pretty much all the gods did that on Mount Olympus. So now for the intense part. That night, Orion went to bed and had a nightmare of fighting a giant, ugly, vicious scorpion. Instead of trying to wake up, he fought it the entire night. Finally, when he woke up, he was terrified what relief it was over. He walked out the door and there it was, the hideous, slimy monster. My brother Apollo sent him to kill Orion. Apollo, if you're watching this, seriously? Well, on with the story. So the giant scorpion backed Orion to the river, so he jumped in. Meanwhile, Apollo told me that evil man attacked the forest and was swimming across the sea to escape me. So of course I headed to the sea. Apollo tricked me into shooting Orion. So yeah, that was my story of Orion. Bye. Oh, hey guys. Goddess of the hunt, the moon, archer in the wilderness. Yeah, that's me, Artemis. Born from one of the Titan and Almighty Zeus, with my slightly annoying twin brother Apollo. Of course, I have other siblings, such as Ares, Athena, Aphrodite, Dionysus, and so on. Us Olympians are one big, not so happy family. That leads me to another topic my enemies and allies. For example, Niobe, Orion, and even my own sister, Aphrodite, aren't exactly my friends. Niobe, because, well, she thought she was superior than my mother, and my mom's the best, since she only had two children, and Niobe had 14, a little excessive. So, Apollo and I sort of killed her children. Okay, moving on. Orion, the giant archer guy that you may have heard of, is another one of my rivals, because we're always very harshly competing, competing to see who the best archer is. And my sister, Aphrodite, is not my friend, because I had this follower, or guy, friend, whatever, Hippolytus, and out of devotion for me, he refused entirely to worship my sister, Aphrodite, since we're opposites. Long story short, Aphrodite got all mad and whatnot, and of course, Hippolytus faced a violent death. Okay, now for my allies. Hippolytus was obviously a good friend of mine and a faithful follower, before he died, that is. The god of the wild, Pan, is my buddy because we both work in, like, the same field, the wild, forests, yeah. 
Anyways, I can live on Mount Olympus with the other gods and goddesses, but I often choose to escape to nature, where I can be one with the wilderness. Also, my animal symbol is a stag. Sort of makes sense, being goddess of the hunt and stuff. Anyway, this brings me to the last element of this wonderful sharing of my life. A myth about me. Since I'm the oldest child between Apollo and I, <laughs> I was born on the island of Ortigia one day before my brother, and almost immediately after my birth, I helped my mom cross the straits over to Delos, where she then gave birth to my brother. This was the beginning of my role of guardian as of young children. Okay, I'm done now. Thanks for learning about me. Um, okay, bye then. Hi, my name is Zeus, <clears throat> and I'm here to tell you about my life. I'm the god of the sky and the lord of the gods. I have many children such as Athena, Aphrodite, Artemis. Ah, uh, there's too many to name. My dad is Cronus and my mom is Raya. My symbols are an eagle and a master bolt. As you see here, pretty nifty, huh? Well, yeah. Also, I live on Mount Olympus with almost all the other gods and goddesses. I even have allies and enemies. My allies are almost all of my siblings. They're super sweet, although Hades and Poseidon are just rude. They're my enemies. Ugh, sometimes they're just... Well, let's get off this topic before I get angry. Anyways, there are many interesting stories about me. However, there's one that I'm going to tell you today. This is how it all started. My dad, Cronus, was an evil titan. He did something so evil you wouldn't believe. He swallowed my siblings. I'm not even kidding. This is all because his own parents had said to him that he would be overthrown by his own children, which um, kind of turned out to be true. <laughs> I am so amazing. Anyways, back to my story. My amazing mom, Rhea, hid me in Crete, where I was protected. This was to trick my father, and he swallowed a rock instead of me. The rock? wasn't baby clothes, so he had no idea who was me. <laughs> How funny is that? As I grew up, I forced my father to disgorge all my siblings that were in his stomach. I did this by having a war with Cronus. I won, of course. After that, Cronus became a prisoner in Tartus. That was the end of that. Yeah, pretty interesting, right? Yeah, okay, that was my story. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, my name is Dionysus. My father is Zeus, and my mother is Salome. I have 11 siblings, including Apollo, Ares, Hepatitis, Hercules, Hermes, Artemis, Athena, Eletheia, Ares, Heba, and Aphrodite. My wife is Adriande, and, I, and we have four children named Aphrodite, Charlites, Hymenios and Pyropas. I control great harvest, winemaking, and wine of fertility, ritual madness, and religious ecstasy. My symbol is a snake, and my enemies are Hera, King Perthius, pirates, the nation of India. I have many allies as well, who are satyrs, nymphs, myads, pans, silenus, and hermes. I live on Mount Olympus as well. Some facts about me are I was the last god to enter Olympus. Also, I was the son of Zeus and the Theban princess Salome. One more fact about me I was the only god who had a mortal parent. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned about my god. Hello, my name is Dionysus, and I am the Greek god of winemaking. Some people recognize me by my symbols, like a bull, a serpent, ivy, and wine. I have family, though. For example, my dad is the all-powerful Zeus, and my mom is Semele. I have many siblings, and their names are Hermes, Artemis, Apollo, Aphrodite, Athena, Ares, Hepatitis, Hades, Poseidon, Hera, Demeter, and last but not least, Hesta. We all live in the same house, but it's not really a house. It's more of a kingdom called Mount Olympus. We, and we all have our own throne, except for Hades. He, doesn't, he lives in the underworld because he is the god of the dead. Along with my siblings, I also have friends and enemies. In this story, I will tell you, my friends are Zeus, Hermes, and King Midas, and my enemy is Hera. So Zeus swore on the river Styx to, get, to grant Hera anything she wanted, and she told Zeus to reveal himself as a god. Zeus sent me with Hermes 
and he brought me to King Midas' kingdom, where he kept me safe for ten days and ten nights. As a thank you, I offered him any reward he wanted, and he chose to turn whatever he touched into gold. And he didn't. However, some things he touched turned into gold he didn't like. For example, he touched his food at dinner, and that turned into gold. He even touched his own daughter, and she turned into gold, too. Bye! Something better to do. Sorry, my queen. Hi, my name's Hera, and I'm the goddess of marriage and family. Also, I'm the queen of the gods. My, sim my symbols are the peacock, pomegranate, cuckoo, lion, and of course, the crown. I live on Mount Olympus, as you can see. It's very nice up here. I recommend it. My spirits of control are the sky, king of gods, marriage, and motherhood. Pretty cool, huh? You want to know my family tree? Don't you want to know my family tree, don't you? My parents are Rhea and Kronos. I am the mother of Ares, Eris, Hebe, and Hephaestus. My spouse is Zeus. My siblings are Poseidon, Hades, Zeus, Hestia, and Demeter. Now let's talk about my enemies. They're Hercules and his mother. Let's get on to the myth. Like before, I said Kronos is my father. He was a jerk, and he did something very stupid when I was born. He ate all of us because he was so scared that the prophecy was going to come true that we were all going to attack him. Well, my one brother, Zeus, and my spouse was saved. So he, ma he made him drink a potion when he got older to disgorge us out, and that's how I was saved. That's it for today. Make sure to check in next time. Bye. Ugh! That's what you get for messing with Athena. Oh, hide and see there. Uh, my name's Athena, the goddess of wisdom, courage, civilization, law and justice, strategy, and the arts. My parents are Zeus and Metis. I have a lot of siblings. In total, I have 26 siblings. Told you it was a lot. Some of my siblings are Aphrodite, Apollo, Ares, Artemis, Dionysus, Hephaestus, Hercules, and so on. I never married her with kids. It was definitely really my thing anyway. So let's move on. So my symbols slash animals are the olive tree, the snake, the owl, and the helmet and the spear. Pretty cool, right? No need to brag. I live on Mount Olympus, right? Right here. Nothing special. Most guys live there anyway. Um, a myth about me that I would like to share was when I helped Perseus defeat Medusa. I told him that if he took only one look at her, he would turn to stone. So I only took a, told him to look at her through his shield, see? And he gave, he gave me Medusa's head to show his appreciation. Some people I like and people I don't like. Um, some people I like are uh, Odysseus, Jason, Perseus, because I sided with them during the Chosen War. And some people I don't like are Hephaestus and Poseidon, because I didn't side with them during the Chosen War. So there you have it, the not so complicated Pretty simple life of Athena. Bye. Hi, my name's Poseidon, but you can call me Angus. I have a big family. My mom and dad are Cronus and Rhea. My siblings are Hades, Demeter, Hesta, R Hera, Zeus. My wife is Aphrodite. My children are Theseus, Triton, Polymethus, Belus, Agenor, Nellus, and Atlas. The god of the sea, earthquakes, storms, and horses. My symbols are the trident, fish, dolphin, horse, and bull. Some of my allies are my brothers, Zeus and Hades. Some of my enemies are the entire city of Troy and Odysseus. I live under the sea in a palace. There is a myth about me, but I will never know the truth. Many stories I was swallowed by Cronus at birth, but later saved with, his, with my other brothers and sisters by Zeus. However, in some versions of the story, like Zeus, I was not swallowed by Cronus because of my mother Rhea, who concealed me among a flock of lambs and pretended to give birth to a colt, which was devoured by Cronus and sled. I hope you know a lot about me and won't become my, my other enemies. Hi, my name is Zeus. I'm the god of all gods. I'm part of the big three, Hades and Poseidon. Let me tell you some of my enemies, like Ares, Atlas, Kronos, Gaia, and Kratos. My father is Kronos, the titan who ate my brothers and sisters, Hades, Poseidon, Hera, Demeter, and Hiesta. Later on, I took his power and overthrown him.
My mother is Vera, which is another Titan. I married Hera, my sister, but maybe I cheated on her a couple of times. My symbol is the eagle, and I control the sky. I live on Mount Olympus with most of the other gods besides Hades. He is in the underworld. My children are Apollos, Ares, Aramidas, Athena, Dionysus, and more. One of my most unforgettable moments in my life is when Mother Earth got mad at me for punishing Kronos, so she sent the most fearsome monster, the Typhon, to fight the Olympians. All of them ran besides me, Zeus. I stayed and fighted the monster. I finally trapped the monster under Mount Edna. Now this mountain turned into a volcano. Hi, my name is Aphrodite and I am the goddess of love and beauty. Some of my symbols are the dolphin, the rose, the myrtle tree, the dove, the griddle, and the swan. I live on Mount Olympus. My family includes my mother Dione and my father Zeus. My half-siblings are Ares, Athena, Artemis, Apollo, Hermes, Hephaestus, Dionysus, and Persephone. I have a lot of kids. My children with Ares are Eros, Bobos, Dimos, Harmonia, Pothos, Antros, and Hermios. My kid with Hermes is Hermaphroditus. My children with Poseidon are Rhodos and Eryx. My kid with Anchises is Aeneas. And lastly, my kids with Dionysus are Pythios, the Graces, and Priapus. A few of my friends are Helen of Troy, Paris, Melanion, and the Graces. And for those people on my bad side, they include Athena, Hera, Apollo, and my husband Hephaestus. If you didn't already know, I was born out of sea foam as it washed upon the shore. Because of my beauty, other gods feared that their rivalry over me would interrupt the peace among them and lead to war. So Zeus married me to Hephaestus, who because of his ugliness and deformity was not seen as a threat. I know you want to know more, but that's all for today. Bye-bye now. I am Mary's got a worm bloodshed, also an, agri an agricultural guardian. Some allies I have are Hades, Ares, Aphrodite, Favos, and Dimos. Two things. I'm known for is my great strength and physicality. One of my myths is Zeus took Hera to be his fresh consort, and she, lying in the arms of the father of God and mortals, conceived the Hera to be even. And Ares, Athena, also my parents, are Hera, Zeus, and the king of all, queen of all the gods.